Hey, what's up everybody? Austin here, Speedy Vinyl. Today, we're gonna do something fun, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do a seven, seven layer HGV project. Super fun, sounds like it's a lot. It's not gonna be a lot. We're gonna have a great time. This is gonna be a super cool Thanksgiving themed shirt that I'm gonna make for uh, one of my girls. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. We're gonna use a bunch of different vinyls, um, to kind of show you guys some different ones and some really cool colors that are fantastic for this time of year uh, going all the way through the fall season. So hang with me. I'm going to get everything set up. We're going to do a quick weeding part uh, and then we'll get to pressing. Let's get after it. Oops. That was easy. I'm just kidding. Let's show you guys how to make this shirt. Okay, so we're about ready to press this shirt. But before we get started, I want to show you guys a little trick that I do to help you get things lined up on your press. So I see people all the time, they put their shirt on the press, and then they're trying to reach under and not burn their face, and don't do that. That's the nice thing about uh, Easy Weed is that this transfer is sticky. So use that to your advantage instead of it sticking to your arm when you're trying to weed it. Let's use it for something productive this time. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, this is, I'm gonna call this my base layer. And it looks like nonsense right now. It looks like stuff that I should have weeded, but you'll see it when we get done. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just press that down on my shirt. And then what's nice is it's stuck. So I know that it's lined up. I didn't have to reach under and burn my face or my hair, mess up my hairdo, uh, trying to get under the press. Um, so yeah, don't, don't get burned. All right, so let's get to pressing. Okay, so we've got our layer set. My little trick that I showed you. Our heat press is pressed up. By the way, I was wrong, it's not seven layers, it's eight. I forgot one. So eight layers. We've got a bunch of different vinyls going. So we're going to be using regular Easy Wheat. I'm going to be using the new matte black. I'm going to be using Cranberry Electric, Orange Electric, Yellow Brick 600, Vegas Gold Easy Weed, Galaxy Black Glitter, Black Silver Glitter, and uh, Yellow Easy Weed, and Chocolate Easy Weed. See, I keep forgetting the layer. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start pressing it down. So you gotta remember, when you're doing layers, the most important thing is you don't wanna give a full press on each layer. You're gonna do a full press at the end because you don't wanna over press your vinyl, okay? So we've got our first layer down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go for like three seconds. That's just gonna help release that clear liner, okay? Because I've got so many different vinyls, you kind of need to plan out, and I would highly suggest assembling your design on the shirt. One, to make sure everything's gonna fit and you didn't forget a layer, like I did. And two, just so you kind of have a mental idea of how things are gonna go down. And then I tried to lay mine out so that I can kind of go in order on how I pre-assembled it. We'll see if I, I just moved stuff around, so we'll, that may have all been for nothing. So don't do that, but I'll figure it out. Um, so let's go ahead and press this first layer, okay? Next thing to not forget is your Teflon sheet. When you're doing multiple layers, you need a Teflon sheet to protect your vinyl that's already down. So that clear liner protects it. If you have anything exposed, you wanna cover it with a Teflon sheet, otherwise it's gonna stick to your heat press. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go. Another three seconds. We're just getting it hot enough to get that clear liner off. Okay? Push that one down. And I can't remember the order at all. Okay, so uh, I've got my next piece on, lined up. Let's go ahead and get it on there. And like I said, there's some shrinkage. So you need to compensate for that. You know, remember you're heating up basically plastic. Whenever you do that, it kind of wants to pull in a little bit. So 
Um, you can either, either overcut or undercut and then really make it kind of pronounced, you know, so that you're not trying to hide it. Um, but even if there's a little bit there, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, it kind of adds a little bit of depth to the shirt, which is cool. So um, it's just whatever you like. So that's one, two, three, four. That's four layers so far. And I'm gonna go ahead and do. Because otherwise, when you wash it, because the glitter has ridges, water will get underneath, and detergent and everything else, and it'll eventually you know, peel your HTV. So. An HTV should last the life of the shirt. An HTV should last the life of the shirt. If you're pressed correctly. All right. There's layer number five. Our first piece of glitter. On the glitter, I'm going to go a little bit closer to that five second mark, just to make sure that I get some good adhesion so it doesn't come back up. Now I can feel my design is getting hot. So when you do this many layers, remember, you want to kind of, you don't want to over press your vinyl. Um, and put too much heat on it. So I can feel that it's getting too hot. Um, I'm gonna let it cool off just a little bit. Let's do another, our next layer of glitter here. So that was six. Here's number seven. Okay, final layer. So this, when you're doing your layering projects, Oh, I did that one a little crooked, of course. Well, that one got a little sideways, but that's okay. It's gonna fit in because we've got I've got a little bit of shrinkage, and I'm just being honest with you guys. This is an honest, uh, just an honest way to do things. Um, I should have expanded my my cut a little bit. Like I said, I kind of think it adds a little bit of depth when there is. You can kind of see the shirt through it. It just adds a little bit of depth to the design. And then whenever you're doing knockout, which is what I've done. Um, you're not, you don't have the layers stacked on top of each other. So the shirt's going to still feel very thin, but it's going to give it that depth. I think it's cool. Um, so last thing is we've got our last piece here. Um, whenever you're doing these types of layering projects, especially using a bunch of different types of HGVs, you need to be mindful of which ones are hot peel and which ones are cold peel. This brick 600 is a cold peel. So this is going to be my final layer. So on my final layer, since it is my final layer, I'm gonna go ahead and get that set. And this is the time we're gonna do a full press, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and just this set everything. We're gonna go for about, I'm not gonna go the full 15 seconds, I'm probably gonna go 10, 12 here, just because everything is so hot. And then if I need to go back over it on a five second press, just on that last layer, then we'll do that. All right, so. Remember, brick is a cold peel, so we're gonna let that cool off. All right, so here we go. Uh, we've got our design, everything's pressed. Um, I've got a little bit of shrinkage right here. This one is for me, it's because I didn't pull it back off, but you, if you can, I don't even know if you can see it in the video, it's really small. Uh, you know, it's like a hair. Um, this one's probably the worst. Uh, you're your own worst critic, but um, I got a little crooked on this one. That, that's not shrinkage. Uh, this right in here, and I'll try to get a close-up of that, that is where your shrinkage is gonna lie. And so like I said, you can either uh, overcut, so make your images slightly bigger so that everything kind of fits, or you can undercut and then really kind of, you know, show the, the shirt through it. And sometimes you may want to, it's just gonna depend on the design that you want and the style that you like it how you want it to look, okay? So there you go, there is an eight layer. There is an eight layer. Uh, HTV shirt. Again, we used these two here. This is um, electric cranberry. This is electric orange. Uh, we use those for the feathers, the electric cranberry for this. I don't know what that thing's called. If you know what that's called, leave it down in the comments. We used yellow for the beak. We used black silver for the ribbon on the hat. We used galaxy black for underneath the hat and the eyes. Uh, we used a matte black for the hat. And guys, I can't tell you, no, this matte black is just ridiculous. It is so matte. I can't even believe it, especially pressing it. That was like the second thing I pressed. 
I can't believe how flat that is. But fantastic job. Caesar, you know, Caesar's the best. There's nobody else that competes. Hands down, Caesar is the best HGV there is on the planet. That's why we sell it. We only try to sell the best stuff on the planet. So there you go. Um, chocolate, easy weed. This is Vegas Gold easy weed. Yellow brick. And I think that's all of them. So um, I'll put links to these guys down in the comments or in the description. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to us. Um, we'd love to answer them. Anything that you guys need. So yeah, thanks again so much. We really appreciate you guys watching, supporting the channel. Um, we're trying to really grow this channel uh, so that we can keep doing it and doing more videos. It takes time, it costs money to use all this vinyl, so um, we're trying to really make this something. Hopefully it's helping you guys out. If you guys have any suggestions at all, please let us know. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to our channel. Um, I know our subscribers have really been growing lately. That's super awesome. I think we're at a little over 1,700. That's amazing. I can't believe 1,700 people uh, are interested in seeing our videos. And so I hope that we're bringing the stuff that you guys want to see. Um, we're always here to help. If you guys are local, come down and see me. Uh, I'd love to talk to you guys about vinyl. I'll talk to you all day about different options and things you can do. Um, the press that I use is a power press. Uh, I bought it on Amazon. I've had it for five years. So it's fantastic, works really well. It's not a professional grade press, but it definitely will do the job. Um, so if you guys are looking for a press or you're new to the HGV world, don't think you have to do this. This can easily be done in one, you could do just one color or do a silhouette or whatever you wanna do. Um, I just tried to kind of really ramp it up. Um, so thanks again so much for guys for watching. There's the shirt again. Uh, I don't know if pink is my color, but maybe, hopefully my daughter likes it. Uh, just a fun Thanksgiving shirt. Uh, yeah, so thanks again, guys. Um, check out the codes on the bottom of our website. Make sure you check out our Facebook or Instagram, um, all of the social media stuff, and I'm done flapping my jaw. Thank you guys so much. I can't thank you enough. You guys have made it possible for me and my wife to spend as much time with our family as possible, uh, and it's a blessing, and we can't thank you enough. So thank you so much for supporting us. And as always, we love you. Have a great day.